For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem in which you have to uh, express fr and theta in terms of f1, f2 and phi. Now this problem is tricky and I really enjoy this kind of problems, it really makes you think. So I'm going to redraw this f1 right here, f1. When they don't give you um, an x and a y, that gives you a hint on this kind of problems that you got to use trigonometry. Good old trigonometry. I know some of you hate it. Okay, so I'm going to redraw this triangle. FR goes right here. This is F1. And this is F2. You know that this is theta. And you know that phi will be right here. So you can move it right here. Alright, so to find FR, we're going to use the law of cosines. Now the law of cosines says that um, in a triangle, let's call it ABC, in that triangle ABC and each angle, this will be angle A, sorry it's so small, this will be angle B and this one will be angle C. So if you wanted to find this, that will be side C is uh, side C squared is equal to side S squared plus side B squared minus two times A times B times cosine of the angle between them, which B would be angle uh, C, which would be the angle between A and B right here. So as you can see, what we gotta do is just plug it in, plug in the numbers. So C will be a far, so it will be F R square is equal to um, F1 uh, square plus F2 square minus F1 times F2, um, sorry, that's a 2 here, 2 times F1 plus F2 times cosine of the angle between them, which will be this angle, which I'm going to call for now epsilon. Not sure if that's the letter for epsilon. I think it is. But we need it in terms of phi. Crap. No problem. Well, you see, cosine of epsilon, try to follow me here, is equal to the cosine of 180 minus phi. Right? Because this whole angle is 180, so uh, if you subtract uh, phi from 180, you get epsilon. This is the same as the cosine of negative phi plus 180. Now there's a periodic uh, identity in the cosine that says that uh, cosine of an angle theta plus uh, 180 times n, n will be any number of times, is equal to the cosine of the angle. So as you can see, 180 times 1 will be over here is the same as saying cosine of negative phi but you also know this this is a, a periodic identity but you also know from your cosine graph this is the cosine graph it goes like that and it goes like that it's perfectly symmetrical so you know that the cosine of negative phi is equal to the cosine of phi. So this is kind of awesome, made it much easier. So you can simply replace that by a phi and you will get fr is equal to f1 square plus f2 square minus 2 times f1 times f2 times the cosine of phi and we had a square over here, we're going to square root it over here. And we got fr in terms of f1, f2, and phi. Now we need to find theta in terms of f1, f2, and phi. 
Now this one is kind of tricky, but I want you to look at something. This vector right here is F1, and you know that this is phi, F1 cosine of phi. And this vector right here is F1 sine of phi, right? And look, we have right here a nice right triangle with lots of easy properties that we can exploit. So if we wanted to find theta, all we got to do is theta will be the tangent inverse of what? Of the y component, which will be f1 sine of phi over the x component, which is this whole thing which is F2, this line right here, plus this little guy right here, F1 cosine of phi. So now we got theta in terms of uh, F1, F2, and phi as well. So this is the final answer for this. Final answers.